the the underground is definitely different and 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 i think that that's good for the quality of music i don't think that that without without the internet you'd have people well the internet and computers you wouldn't have people that play like like tosin or tosin abasi from animals as leaders yeah. like jason richardson obviously our guitar player jason is is monster oh man dude <laughs> <laughs> like he's he's something Unreal. else <laughs> He's something else. He's something else. <laughs> like we were, we we were doing some stuff for Sweetwater um, on the just last year, and he played this, you know, sufficiently impossible run, and he missed uh-huh. one note. Right, one note, and I'm sitting there talking. And the reason I remember this is I was talking to someone else as we were going. We we're talking about Jason while he's playing it, and I was like, I was like, he's gonna want to do that again. And they're like, what do you mean? I was like, he, he had one note. And by missing, I mean, it just didn't sing properly. Right. It, right. it did. It was kind of there, but he's had his finger on the flood. It. it just Ex- wasn't perfect. Exactly. It didn't exactly. It didn't sing. And he's, and he, as soon as the guy in the, the, the control room, as soon as he got done, he hits the button. He was like, Jason, what do you think? And Jason goes, eh, I can do it better. And he's like, okay, does it plays it perfectly where every note is perfect. And then I'm like, this will be fine. And, and the guy goes, hits the button. He's like, what do you think? And Jason's like, yeah, that's good. I'm like, yeah. I mean, I'd like because it, Jason plays things right, and when I say yeah. right, I mean in time and with sufficient feeling and with the right attack, and he's fingering the notes properly, and he does it all the time. Every single time he he every single pick stroke is perfect. Every time he fingers a note, it's it is mind-boggling it is robotic and i've been in i've been a musician for you know 30 years i've been i've been in bands with some phenomenal players i mean i've played a whole tour with with kill switch and gage and adam d and joel are both great players right like i know what good players sound like and jason richardson is shockingly good uh with the first time on a purely technical level he is one of the absolute best of all time no question Hundred percent. When we were, we did the, we did a tour with uh, uh, Born of Osiris when Jason was in Born of Osiris. I think it was like 2011 or whatever. That was the first time we met him. And all he came up to the to us and he's like, "You have got to see this." And I'm like, "What?" He's like, "This kid is 17 years old, and he's he's and all he was like, he's better than I will ever be, and he's 17. <laughs> he's like, I've been playing for 30 years. The kid makes me." so depressed <laughs> and, I, and so i we, we all go and check him out we're like oh well, i guess it, it, it yeah. really is it's that's the real deal you know there's no no exaggeration but so that and that obviously started their friendship ollie and, and jason became buddies and and uh because jason obviously is a big all that remains fan from from our, our early stuff and and that was the stuff he was listening to when he got into metal so right and it's, well, it's, it's crazy to play able- the dude like that though yeah, it's it's amazing now to see just how fucking good everybody is. Like a, a random 16-year-old on TikTok is better than yep. 99% of people in national bands were in the 90s. Yeah. One of the things so I play guitar and I'm better now than I've ever been. Like not kidding around. Like I practice and and one of the things that I found is when I was growing up and this is late 80s is when I got my first guitar. So when I, and in the 90s, when I was playing, I, like we didn't have good tabs. We didn't right. have a hundred websites that had tabs that were really, really good. And we didn't Maybe have there was an pro- Eagles song this month in Guitar World and exactly. he just made the most of it. <laughs> exactly. It's like if 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 you could get a, a you know music book for a band, most of the time they were poorly put together. A lot of times they didn't have tabs. They only had music. You know, so you had right. to read music to, to be able to do it. And I didn't, I, I can read music like a six-year-old can read, like sound right. it out. I can, if I got, I can figure, okay, that's a B, that's, a, you know, I like really, yeah. really poorly reading music. Um, so yeah, we didn't, we couldn't. And so computers and the internet um, have really made it. I think DAWs, Digital Audio works, works mm-hmm. or, uh, Workspaces, I think they really have, uh have been a thing because that's really made it so that way you can slow things down and you can get really, really specific on your technique and really get, uh, get really specific on your, uh, on your, on your, on your playing and stuff. And I, like, I mean, like I said, being I, able to hear yourself, like that's yeah. I, I, when I started recording myself, 
it was humbling because I thought I was much better at guitar than I actually am. I was like, yeah, I'm pretty good. And then I tried recording myself doubled and I was like, oh, <laughs> that's not good. <laughs> it's so humbling. So and humbling. now this is just kids and, and kids now grow up. You know, if you're 16 years old playing guitar now, you think that like your baseline is like super edited guitars that, yep. you know, have every note quantized to perfection and blah, blah, blah. And that's just what people think guitar sounds like now. And so that's their baseline. And they just start going from there. And that's, I think, a big part of why they're so fucking good. You know, what sucks is not only that's what people think guitar sounds like the best players out there. That's exactly what guitar sounds. Like. Yes. So you yes. have you have this this super lofty goal to aim for. Right. Like. If you are trying to play perfectly, right, you didn't have. You didn't have that kind of conceptualization of, or at least I didn't when I was growing up in the in the nineties and, and playing guitar and stuff. I didn't have that conceptualization of super clean, super precise. Uh, what to me sounded like super clean and super precise. I go back and I listen to it now, and I'm like, oh my god, they weren't even playing to a metronome, were they? You yeah. know, now I'm just like, I can't even believe it. Like, if you go back and you listen to like Fear Factory records, and when Fear Factory came out, it was like, whoa, it's machine. Yeah. Everything's perfect. Listen how tight that is. And da da da. And you go back and listen now, and you're like, oh, no, that was They're not. Probably machine. swinging five or 10 BPM through that song. Yeah. Human beings, actual human beings. And nobody wants to sound like human beings. No one in the metal world, at least, wants to right. sound like human beings anymore. So, yeah, which, which is, is fine a whole to me other. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. I and mean, you can think that's good or bad, but that's, you know, that's a whole other thing. Um, do you know Alex Rudinger? I know the name. He's played drums in a million bands. He was in the faceless and I don't okay. know. A million, he's played in a million bands and he's probably 25 or something like that. And so he's one of these people that maybe he's a little bit older, but whatever. He came up sort of in this new era and a friend of mine recorded him a few years ago and sent me the drums. He's like, Oh, I just recorded Rudy. What do you think? And I was like, uh, it sounds a little bit over edited to me. And he's like, this is raw. I didn't edit anything. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> See, yes, it doesn't surprise me either. Uh, Lou Collin, the guy that plays in. Yes. Uh, he plays with he plays with Jason uh, in his solo stuff. And he plays with uh, um, Ronnie. Falling in reverse. There you go. Falling in reverse. Um, yeah, he's another guy just like oh. Jason and Luke are fucking inhuman. Like the two of them together, it's like fucking cyborgs from the future that literally nobody would have thought that was possible when we were kids. When they send each other text messages, it's literally just zeros and ones. They just type out the zeros <laughs> and ones in the text message and they just they see it and they're like, oh, okay. It's just all binary code. They don't they don't actually even speak English. Uh, I think it's fucking super cool to see that. Like on the one hand, it makes me feel like a dinosaur because I'm like, man, I, I have been left in the dust, but I think that's cool. I'm happy to see it. Yeah, I, I like it too. I, I have spent a lot of time in the past couple of years really kind of um, practicing like like uh, sweeps and stuff like that and, and solos and stuff. I've never been a, a solo guitar player and I've never been able to play solos and stuff. I think that now I probably could. And that's one of the things that I'm like, I want to be able to do that before 